Oh hi! I'm Jen and welcome to my vlog space and today we're going to be doing a part two of something that I released like a week ago or maybe, I don't even know, but um, we're going to be doing some random question and answers mm -hmm. uh, as I explained in the first part and if you haven't seen the first part it will be linked down below. But as I explained in the first part of this, um, I like questionnaires online and I do them all the time on Instagram and Facebook, but I never take them seriously. And if you're looking for some good comedy, you should probably check those out. Um, but I've had people like ask me, hey, so I get your funny answer to that question and haha, it's really funny, but like, what's your real answer? I want to know. And I'm like... I should probably do like a Q&A video or something. We do this on our vlog channel a lot, Safety Scissors and Duct Tape, but I've never done it on here. So I thought it'd be really cool for you guys to get to know a little bit more about me. I have no idea what questions he's going to ask me, so these are my very raw, real answers. But I also thought if I did it on this channel, I could encourage you guys to write your answers to some of these questions down in the comments, because I want to learn about you guys too. Mm -hmm. You know, we've been dancing together for a year now, <laughs> or how, whenever you got to this channel, and it'd just be nice to get to know each other. Mm -hmm. So... If you haven't seen part one, like I said, it's linked down below. Lots of good questions there, but... Uh, so it's kind of like a get to know you with your with your studio. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's like if, if we were in person, you would probably learn these things about me at some point when I'm teaching class. But um, this is Sean, by Hello. the way. He's going to be asking me the questions. I am the moderator today. He's shown up in a lot of my videos, so... And yep. he's all over the Safety Scissors and Duct Tape channel. So, I wonder why. <laughs> this is Safety Scissors, and I'm Duct Tape, for anyone that had questions about that. <laughs> um, so, you ready to get started? Yep. Alright, I'm going to go, I'm going to start with a self-serving question. You ready? Who would you want to be stranded on with a, on a, who would you want to be stranded with on a deserted island? I can talk today. You. Why me? <laughs> because you're a survivalist. <laughs> Literally, that's one of his hobbies is survival mm -hmm. and going out into the woods or to a deserted island and basically surviving with nothing. And he's like a genius at it. Like when a hurricane hits, I'm never scared that we're going to lose power or that, you know, we're not going to. I'm never scared because I know worst comes to worst. He knows how to get us clean water. He knows how to build us a shelter. He knows we're good. We're good. With the last hurricane that we were about to have, my mom texted me, hey, let me know if you need me to send you any supplies. She didn't even ask, am I okay? Am I prepared? Nothing. She was just like, let me know if I need to send you anything. Mm -hmm. she, knows. <laughs> she knows. She knows that you've got this. So yeah, mm. self-serving question, but yes, you. You guys I... should pick him too, honestly. <laughs> you don't even know him. <laughs> Trust me, be stranded on a deserted island with him. Just send him back. Yeah. <laughs> After about a couple of days, they're going to be like, he talks too much. Let's give him back. <laughs> um... If you could go back in time, what year would you travel to? Back in time? Mm -hmm. You can make me sad again. I'm sorry. Uh, 2013, 2012, I guess. Just, you know, when my dad was, like, okay. That's that's when I would travel to. Okay. <laughs> if Okay, let, let's change that up. If you could go back to any time period that you didn't live in. Oh, Lord. Um... I'm like going through going, no, they had a plague. <laughs> no, that was a war. No, that was a, <laughs> the twenties is not a good time. Everyone's like, oh, you're a tap dancer. Pick the twenties. No, 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 no. Hmm. Um, probably to when Leonardo da Vinci was doing his stuff. Cause he's always been such a fascinating scientist, philosopher, inventor to me. I'd like to like watch him in action, I think. But I think they also had a plague back then. So <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> it's crazy, though. If you look at his stuff, it was just literally, like, just some of it was just, like, crazy ideas. Oh, of, like, he, how to, most how to, people like that are crazy. Yeah, and, was, <laughs> and it's good. It, a lot of his ideas were just, like, off the wall, like, how to get your food closer to you without getting up. And just, like, oh, random know, little things. Oh, I know, but it's so cool. Yeah. The way his mind works is just amazing. All right. Um, aside from tap dancing, what are your hobbies? What's a hobby? <laughs> thing you do for fun that i don't do for work yes with a hobby oh um i mean it's hard because i am a tap dancer so that's not a hobby that's my job mm -hmm. i am a drummer it's not really a hobby it's something that i want to do for a living mm -hmm. so it's not really a hobby i write songs but again that's something i want to do for a living so 
It's not really a hobby. It used to be. Writing parody songs used to be a hobby. Now it's something that I kind of do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, read astrology charts. That is definitely a hobby of mine because that's not something I can do for a living. That I know of. Um, and exercising. I love exercising. Definitely one of my favorite hobbies. Cardio. I love doing cardio. Zumba, running on an elliptical, like going for, even just for a walk. I love cardio. So, does that count? Yes. Okay. <laughs> my, my shirt depicts my cardio. Oh, writing fan fiction. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. That is his cardio, by the way. Eating pizza. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best gift you've ever been given? All right, are we getting, like, like super deep, or is this, like, a tangible item? Tangible? Because, I mean, technically, life. Your parents giving you life is the greatest. Well, thing. I was going to say, like, some traits that I got from my mom and dad mm -hmm. were, like, the greatest gifts. Like, let's, my brain. Let's go with tangible. Tangible? Like okay. Um, best gift I've ever gotten. Oh, I said this in another video. Oh, no. I know this gift I've ever gotten. Can we come back to that one? Yes. I don't want to take too long. I gotta think. Um, what's the worst gift you've received? Worst <laughs> gift I've received? There's no such thing. Every gift has a sentimentality behind it. So I received no bath bombs thing. once. I don't know why the person gave me bath bombs. That's the worst gift I've ever received. That would be the worst gift you could ever receive because <laughs> a bath bomb does one thing. It makes your bath smell good. Mm -hmm. And it probably also has like skin. I don't. I don't do bath bombs. I don't. So. I don't do bath. I'm afraid of being allergic to them. So, <laughs> um, aside from necessities, what is one thing you could not go a day without? Exercising. Okay. <laughs> Exercising for sure. Like doing cardio. Hmm. I can't. I can't go a day without it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> List two pet peeves. Pet peeves? Mm -hmm. Um, When people look at my screen when I'm on the computer, when people like stand over my shoulder and look at my screen, I do not enjoy that at all. Same and uh, when people lie to me. That's not really a pet peeve. That's like a, that makes me mad. Mm -hmm. But yeah, when people lie to me or when people look at my screen. I literally redid my office so nobody can see my screen. Mm -hmm. I'm the same way. I don't. It's, it's not like you're doing anything bad. It's just that's you. This that's is your what this space. is. Yeah, this is what I'm doing. It's like somebody standing over your shoulder while you're reading a book. It's like, dude, get out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't like people standing over me watching draw, watching me draw. Yeah, no, I can't. I can't stand it. Or watching me choreograph. Mm -hmm. That's. Mm. Um, I apologize for this question. Oh no. How many pairs of shoes do you own? Are we talking boots about... Boots included. Boots included? Okay, that's not fair because one time, Rue 21 was doing a huge winter clearance and we all know that I love boots at this point, okay? If you've seen any of my shoe videos, like tap dancing and weird shoes, you kind of get the sense that I like boots. I only wear boots. That's it. Boots and like sneakers sometimes. Tap shoes. Duh. But they were having a $5 sale on all of their boots. I bought every pair that was in my size that I liked because their boots oh, it's Rue 21 they don't last that long so like maybe you get like eight months of use out of it if you wear it every day so I was just I got a back stock of boots sitting in the garage just waiting for me to like pull the next pair out and that's why that's not a fair question because I may have bought 30 pairs of boots from that sale $150 but I got 30 pairs of boots. <laughs> I'm set for life. I don't need any more boots unless they're platform because they didn't do platform. But okay, if you're counting those, I would probably say I have about 50 pairs of boots. Okay. <laughs> what? That was a sale! $5! I, I could sell it them was, for $20 a pair. It was so funny because she was like, I don't want to buy all these, but it doesn't make sense not it to. It doesn't make sense not to. And I've gone through, like, I think I've gone through about six pairs mm -hmm. now. It's been a couple years since you did that. Yeah, but pandemic, I don't go anywhere, so mm -hmm. I don't wear boots anymore. <laughs> uh, I just wear socks. And I have these really, really cute, like, cat 
foot socks. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, that was weird. <laughs> um, if you had, if you were a superhero, what powers would you have? I would have the power. D- powers plural. I get more. I get more than one. Uh, yeah, it says powers. <gasps> Ooh, okay. I would have the ability to stop time hmm. and continue to do what I'm doing, but like pause time, and I would teleport. Those would be the two big ones that I would want. Regeneration would also be nice. Hmm. So those three. I choose those three. Very cool. (laughs) But stop time, for sure. Okay. What form of public transportation do you prefer? Teleportation. Wait. Wait, I I said I was going to take this seriously. I'm sorry. Like air, boat, train, bus, car, etc. Public transportation is not a car. I guess Uber? I guess Uber, yeah. Uh, Public transportation... Probably, honestly, boat. <laughs> For someone who's afraid of boats to say mm-hmm. that, boat. I was going to say the monorail at Disney. <laughs> <gasps> I love the monorail. I choose the monorail. Yeah. It's public transport. It is public it gets transport. It you to a bunch of different places. Yep. You, you can go from uh, the future to Japan mm-hmm. with a monorail. Can you get, wait, you can't take the monorail from Epcot to Epcot. Yeah, you can. You can just it's go to Big It's a big, big loop, yeah. yeah. It's fine. Um. What's your favorite zoo animal? Lemurs. Ringtail lemurs. Um... <laughs> I'm still stuck on the what's your favorite gift because I know I said this in a blog <sighs> before and it was super sentimental. It was something somebody made for me, something maybe you made for me. Mm. I don't remember. <laughs> if you could share a meal with any four individuals, living or dead, who would they be? Um... Mm, that's hard because I only get to share the meal. Like, I, first instinct, I want to say my dad, but I don't think I could deal with only spending two hours with him. You know? Mm-hmm. I think that would, like, kill me. But I guess, like, that's hard. Four people? What an amazing meal it would be to have dinner with my dad, my former philosophy of education professor, George Carlin, and Robin Williams. What a dinner. Mm-hmm. I'm in. That's it. That's what I pick. Okay. <laughs> How many pillows do you sleep with? Is one of the questions. One? <laughs> do you only sleep with one pillow? Yeah, because I'm literally looking at it. I put the other one on the floor before I fall asleep. Mm. <laughs> one of them is strictly for watching TV. <laughs> <laughs> um... What's the longest you've gone without uh, sleep? Okay, I, um, I'm not the kind of person that stays up all night. So I just, I don't know, like 23 hours. Maybe. Um, In college. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let's call Jen out again. You ready? Oh, no. How often do you buy clothes? That's not fair. <laughs> that is so not fair. Before COVID... Never, never, unless it was like, I was, I felt like going to Plato's closet and I'd spend like 20 bucks and come home with 20 things. Mm -hmm. Um, but one of the things my mom and I do right now is we shop together online Mm -hmm. every Sunday because the the website that we shop on has free shipping every Sunday. And so you can get like a $2 shirt and it's free shipping. It doesn't matter. And so she and I go shopping every single Sunday and we we spend like 10 bucks mm-hmm. but like i get like a pair of pants and a top and it's mm-hmm. whatever and it's stupid because i don't go anywhere right now so mostly i'm just buying sweatpants and hoodies but you're also but... buying work clothes because you're working i am anticipating pack. going back to work but at also some point doing your videos yeah okay this all started because i did i started doing these tutorials and i realized that i wore like the same three shirts in every tutorial and First of all, I was like, it's kind of weird to just wear the same three shirts. I should probably expand my wardrobe a little bit. And then I realized that people were asking me, hey, in this one video, can you, can you, and they couldn't remember the dance. They couldn't remember the song. But I said, in this one video, you do this, you do this step, what is it? And I couldn't find which video they meant because I couldn't ask what shirt was I wearing. So now I'm making it a point to wear a different shirt, at least in every video. And now I own enough of them because my mom and I go shopping every (laughs) Sunday. But the shirts that I buy are like between three and five dollars. So, you know, it's not a big deal. And honestly, that's all the money I was spending going to conventions. Mm -hmm. So Mm. I guess it's fine. 
but it helps as a visual cue for you guys, I learned, to have me in a completely different shirt every single video because it lets you know which video you're on. It lets me know which video you're talking about when you go to ask me a question. It helps me find my videos easier or at least a different shirt and sock combination because I do have a couple of favorite shirts I have worn a couple times. So it's not a fair question, <laughs> but weekly at this point I buy clothes because it's just such a good bonding thing with mm. my mom. It's so much fun. I She gets so excited to find shirts and watches. She's obsessed with watches. Oh yeah. And you can get watches on this website for like three bucks. Mm. So obviously they're not good quality, but whatever. And it's just so much fun to spend a little time and like a tiny bit of money with her every Sunday. It's also nice as a viewer like watching you tap because I don't know if you guys are like me, but a lot of times I remember stuff by seeing it. Yeah, that's what and I mean. If you're like, wearing it's a good the visual same, cue. If you're wearing the same outfit, then you do like a shuffle step, shuffle step. And then in another one, you do shuffle step, ball change or whatever. Yeah. And then I'll be like, wait. What did I watch? You know, and I understand that. Yeah, I think it is very helpful if I change what I'm wearing in every video, even mm -hmm. though it seems probably excessive. Um, I do I do want to change what I'm wearing, at least a combination of things. Like, I'll wear this shirt with, like, Luigi socks. Luigi socks <laughs> with my cat paw socks. I've shown my socks three times in this video now. Um, or I'll do this shirt with, like, NASA socks. That way you have a visual set mm -hmm. cue. And like obviously this I wear in every video and my shorts I wear in every video and I wear black leggings in every video. But mm -hmm. other than that, you get a little bit of differentiation. Nice. So anyway, thanks for calling me out. Next question. <laughs> What's your favorite holiday? Hanukkah. Uh -huh. I love Hanukkah. It's my favorite holiday. I get sad every time it ends. So I have to wait a whole year. Uh, what's the most daring thing you've ever done? Daring? Mm-hmm. quit college and join a band and travel around the world dancing with a band. Literally. I I didn't quit. I downgraded my degree from a doctorate to a master's so that I could finish quickly and finished online in the last couple of semesters. I finished with, with all online classes just so I could finish. I didn't want to waste the time that I'd spent on it, but I had the opportunity to join a band and tour. Like, I toured Europe, I toured a little bit of the Caribbean, I toured a little bit of the U.S. I had the opportunity to do that. And so that's the most, that's the scariest thing I ever did. I packed up all my stuff, I quit my very secure job, I quit grad school, sort of. I mean, I did grad school differently, I didn't quit. And I moved to a completely different city, and I gallivanted around the world with people I barely knew. Mm. And now we're all friends, so it worked out. <laughs> very cool yeah that's that's scary but i did it and i'm glad i did what's your favorite type of foreign food japanese love japanese food and chinese asian asian Asian's food <laughs> yes except like i don't do spicy so thai's a little tough for mm -hmm. me but like vietnamese food is delicious and any asian cuisine okay. love it are you a clean or messy person I am a clean person, except while I am working on something, uh, you can walk into my office and see a bunch of discarded water or Coke bottles and like a plate on the floor or a bowl on the floor because like I'm in the middle of something, but I ate something and so I just put it down. But as soon as I'm done with my task, I clean, everything's organized, everything's good. Mm. So I'm like, I'm clean, but in the moment I am messy. Okay. Who would you want to play you in a movie of your life? Um, well, Anna Paquin looks kind of just like me. So there's that. She's a good pick, mm -hmm. I guess. But um, Margot Robbie, hmm. maybe. It's, I'm just picking blondes at this <laughs> point. If I wanted somebody that I think could embody my punk rock yet goody two-shoes personality i almost feel like drew barrymore might be the perfect person to play that hmm. you know hmm. okay no i think i think she could pull it off i don't know i'm stuck in the 90s because i've been watching charlie's angels <laughs> um how long does it take you to get ready in the morning <laughs> five minutes mm -hmm. literally five minutes i don't wear makeup so it's easy i don't have to do any of that I think today it took me two seconds to put these in. I did straighten my bangs today, so that took me an extra 30 seconds. 
and I wear basically the same thing every day just with a different variation of shirt and sock and so no no time at all what uh, what kitchen appliance do you use every day microwave uh, just the you... fridge count I use the fridge every day <laughs> <laughs> what's your favorite fast food chain fast food chain uh, anywhere that has vegan food Anywhere that has a good vegan option, like Burger King right now has the Impossible Whopper, and Taco Bell's about to have Beyond Meat. <laughs> What's your favorite family recipe? <sighs> matzo ball soup. Mm. My family's matzo ball soup, for sure. <sighs> I want it now. <laughs> Do you love or hate roller coasters? Hate. <laughs> What's your favorite family tradition? Oh. Um, going to the casino on Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. It's I know that sounds weird, but we uh, my brother likes to go to the casino. He just likes slot machines, and he just has a lot of fun with it. We we used to give him a lot of crap for it. We'd be like, "You're gambling your money away." And he goes, "I was going to Dave and Buster's all the time and not getting any return on that investment. At least I get some return on this investment, and it's fun. It's video games." And we're mm -hmm. like, "Oh, yeah, actually, that's good." Mm -hmm. And he's really responsible about mm -hmm. it too. Um, but my dad would always go with us and my mom and we would watch Andy. Andy's my brother. We would watch Andy play slot machines. Our favorite one to watch him is Kronos. <laughs> we love that one. Yeah. And, um, then we'd go to this deli. It's like a Jewish deli inside the casino and they have the best bagels and the best pickles in the world. And we would do this every Christmas day. Mm -hmm. So that's my favorite. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Long. What's your favorite childhood memory? All of them? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Uh, sitting at the piano while my mom and dad played Beatles songs and singing along. Okay. We'll go with that. What's your favorite movie? Captain America, the First Avenger. Hmm. <laughs> Is your glass half full or half empty? I would always have to say half full. I am a silver lining kind of person. Even in the middle of a pandemic, I have so much to be grateful for. Even though some days I'm sitting here like, I miss performing. I still have a lot to be grateful for. So, What three items would you take with you on said deserted island from earlier? A plane, a boat, and a giant supply of gasoline for both. <laughs> so I can leave. <laughs> what was your favorite subject in school? Are we counting electives? Yes. Music. If, uh, we're, if, we're, if, we're, if we're counting electives, it'd be like orchestra, guitar, music, mm -hmm. any of my music classes. Okay. And if we weren't? Math. Hmm. What's the most un uh, unusual thing you've ever eaten? <laughs> Cream cheese on my sandwiches? I guess. Like, I, let, I used to eat this, my favorite sandwich, my favorite sandwich. My dad loved this sandwich, too. Look, same taste buds, okay? <laughs> Very Jewish taste buds. We would do um, bologna with cream cheese on rye bread. Seeded rye is the best kind. But bologna, like German bologna, so good. Oh, my. Ugh, they don't make it vegan. Um, German bologna with cream cheese instead of, like, regular cheese. You spread cream cheese all over the rye bread. Listen, it's so good. <laughs> It really is good. Yeah. Um, or chicken marsala pizza. Really good. Like Italian restaurant in my in my hometown used to make it. Really weird, but oh, so good. I can still taste it. Do you collect anything? Wally. <laughs> <laughs> Wally everywhere. <laughs> I collect um, Wally and robots. I really like just robots in general. You guys have always seen Wally in my videos, actually. He's always there. Um, I collect dice. I do like dice for, like, D&D &D and Magic the Gathering and stuff. Um, drum sets, maybe? You got you got a few of those. One, Oops, two, sorry. three, four, I just five. apologized to my ukulele because I hit it and I said sorry. <laughs> like, wait. Jen's very polite. I just apologized to my ukulele. Oh my gosh. Uh, is there anything you wished would come back into fashion? Low rise pants. <laughs> Y'all. Are you an introvert or extrovert? Extrovert. Which of the five senses would you say is your strongest? Smell. <laughs> Not that kind of smell. <laughs> no, my sense of smell is insane. 
insane. <laughs> you should watch some of our videos on safety scissors and duct tape when I like open um, candle subscriptions. You should definitely check that out. Mm -hmm. My sense of smell is impeccable. Have you ever had a surprise party that was an actual surprise? Yes. You threw me one last year for my birthday. My first and only surprise party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was amazing. Are you related or distantly related to anyone famous? I mean, I'm hoping that eventually my dad and his dad will become famous for the book, mm -hmm. The Letters from Camp. It's a Holocaust diary. Not to get, like, real dark, but, like, it's a real one. If anyone out there has a publishing company or, like, a literary agency, I got something for you. It is a for real Holocaust diary, and it would be so, so, so cool if... My grandfather became known around the world for the fact that he kept a diary and all of it was love letters to his wife, my grandmother, and it is the sweetest, most beautiful, and most terrible thing you will ever read in your whole life. So anybody out there that can help me out with getting this book out there, mm -hmm. I'll love you forever. But for right now, no. But I am pretty good friends with the second cousin once removed of Leonard Nimoy. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> What He's do you, so cool. <laughs> what do you do to keep fit? Run, tap dance, eat well, walk, Zumba, stretch, yoga. I love exercise. <laughs> <laughs> Does your family have a motto, spoken or unspoken? Um, <laughs> I thought about the Bundy credo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, no, not that. Um, <laughs> um, we, we used to love Mary with children. But I would say live long and prosper, probably. Yeah. <laughs> we're if you big were, Trekkies. If you were a ruler of your own country, what would be the first law you would introduce? First law? Uh-huh. Oh, my God. <laughs> if I was going to be a total, oh, my gosh, the ruler of my own country. But you know what the first thing that came to my mind is? What? Time steps can start on any count you want. <laughs> That's, I, I will die on that mountain, okay? Mm -hmm. Time steps can start on any count you want. Mm -hmm. It is valid. It is beautiful. It is the music you want to create. Time steps are allowed to start on any count you want. That's my first law. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I might be a little triggered. Who is your favorite teacher in school? Uh, my grad professor. Okay. Um, Dr. Mickey Dwyer. He was the coolest person ever to walk this earth. Uh, somewhere between being a Heidegger scholar, and if you don't know anything about Heidegger, he, dude, like, dude was crazy. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. Um, Heidegger scholar to antique collector to ultimate Frisbee champ. So, like, he was the coolest person. Hmm. What three things do you think of the most each day? Sayuri, Bento, and T'Challa. Hmm. <laughs> hey, Jen. What? If you had a warning label, what would yours say? Uh, caution, super loud. Okay. <laughs> what song would you say best sums you up? Best sums me up? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm currently writing one that is called Unapologetically Me. And so that will sum me up. Mm -hmm. But I think right now... Wow, that's really hard. Is there a song about just being a punk and being you and letting that be okay like i guess something by avril lavigne okay. <laughs> i don't know um, i really don't know that's hard i'll think about it kind of like the best gift i'll have to get back to you let's do just a couple more okay what celebrity would you uh like to meet at starbucks for a cup of coffee kate mulgrew kate if you're watching this <laughs> hit her up she wants to go to coffee with you I just, what a stunning human being, what a kind and beautiful person, and just bringing so much life to a role that changed me, but it's not even about the role, like, I've, I've also studied her career and read what she personally has written. She's just a beautiful human being, and if I could go have coffee with her, it would be to find out how I can be more good like her i know that wasn't english but like if i could continue what she's trying to do in the world as far as like doing good that's mm -hmm. what i would want okay who was your first crush uh 
real person or celebrity? Oh, I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. Celebrity? Robert Beltran, who hmm. played opposite Kate Mulgrew on Star Trek Voyager. So I might be a big Trekkie. <laughs> <laughs> um, on a scale of 1 to 10, how funny would you say you are? Somehow, 10. <laughs> Somehow. I Look, I'm not just bragging. Turns out I'm really funny, and I didn't know that. I write all of Noise Complaint's scripts and all of Noise Complaint's jokes, and I have you in stitches. Mm -hmm. Whenever I do the first read-through of a script, I have the whole company in stitches. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I didn't know when I got funny. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. I guess maybe because I'm awkward talking in front of people, but, like, I'm a teacher, so I rested on being funny mm -hmm. instead of, like, serious. I can't be serious. Mm. <laughs> All right, one more question? Um, maybe two? Okay, let's see. What was your first job? Publix. Uh, it's a grocery store in Florida. I was a, I, did, I was the person that took all of your stuff and bagged it. And I'm a really good bagger because I still remember how to bag from all of their instructional videos. Hmm. You're supposed to put the boxes on the outside and put the cans in the middle. It provides a lot of stability for the bag. Oh. Um, <laughs> if you could join any past or current music group, uh, which would you want to join? Oh, gosh. I would join Neongo Star. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, I would join Neongo Star, but also I would love, 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 love to join um, Mayday Parade. I don't know. I would. I don't even know what I would. They have enough people. They don't need me, but I would love to join Mayday Parade. And honestly, can I be like 100% honest right now? Mm -hmm. When I was a member of Crew Shadows, uh, that was the band that I was dancing for, and you guys should really check them out. They're amazing. Mm -hmm. I was a dancer for them. And if I... I, I, I will always believe in the project that Rogue was putting together. I will always believe in this band's music and in just the band members themselves. If I could join that band again, but as a musician, I would love that. Mm -hmm. That would be one of the greatest things in my life. So, All right, we're going to leave with one final question. Okay. If you, could, if you had to describe yourself as an animal, which one would it be? Judy Hopps. Okay. I'm, I'm a total rabbit. I'm an absolute bunny rabbit. I move very, very quickly. I move quickly from one thing to another. I'm very efficient. Um, she multitasks. I multitask like crazy. I don't multiply though. That's, I thought you were going to say that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I eat a lot of vegetables. So yeah. You're a bunny. I'm a bunny. <laughs> you would think I'd say cat, but no, cats sleep all day. No, I am not that. <laughs> So thank you guys for joining us for this random set of Q&A questions, part I guess. Two. Part two. Um, if you guys have questions for me, I'd love to do a part three based on the questions that you guys have. I know I've done this before, but it's it's even cooler to do it randomly, mm -hmm. but even cooler if you guys want to ask me some more questions. So check out part one. This was part two. And please answer some of these questions yourselves mm -hmm. in the comments. Write the question first so I know which one you're answering. <laughs> but... Um, because I want to get to know you mm -hmm. as well. So that would really make me happy. Yeah. So if you're not already subscribed to this channel, hit the subscribe button <laughs> and join the TAP fam. Mm -hmm. uh, we have weird vlogs like this, but also choreography tutorials, step tutorials, technique exercises, fun stuff. And hit that thumbs up button. Last time we hit the thumbs up button for Bento, but this time hit it for my ukulele <laughs> that I said sorry Just like to. she did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, hit the thumbs up button mm. if you like this video. And um, yeah, thank you for moderating. It's a blast. Yeah. And as always, thank you for dancing with me.